I've upgraded the looks of my hunting partners, Brett Kissel and Derek Tremaine. We now have these, these dogs. They're much better looking, much more efficient. Quite frankly, much more tolerable. Now, I've never been cat hunting. This is a new experience for me. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Nick Yarish. We couldn't be in better hands. Let's go. We haven't had snow for, uh, I don't know, I think it's five days. And this sugar snow, everything looks fresh. So when they get pretty solid, they're obviously not, you know, smoking fresh. We might see what it does. And get back. It's definitely at least a day old, but... A day old, fine. It's when it's yeah. three days. Right. That's the worst about this sugar snow, but this sugar snow won't freeze in a day. No. You can't pick that track up, right? So. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I know where they're going. Okay, we got to go down. I know where they're going. Let's go. So we got to rock and roll? Yeah, we'll go. Sweet. So now, I'm going to talk because I have to, but I really have no idea what's going on here. We're, you're trying to, it's an older track, so you're trying to get a, like a visual on the lakes. And, or just get it pushed. Like get it jumped up so we can dump some speedy dogs in there and get it really running. Right. So is that kind of what you try to do though, is try to get it to go across the road and then you dump another on one? On an old track. Yeah. I mean, if you can get that cat moving and then throw some dogs in there, and yeah. then they can run it. The it's biggest thing is these old tracks is, sometimes they're not that far in there, sometimes they are, but you use one or two dogs. And you know, that's when, on days like today when we're going off five day old snow and guessing, you know, a lot of times. Yeah. You just, the dogs hopefully will jump one up and jump it up and then you can get it running. Feels every run will be, will be different. When it's fresh, like it's totally different. Like yeah. they'll just be lots just of noise flying. But for an old frozen crack. They did take off pretty good there, eh? all really. It's warm enough too though, right? So they'll get Stuff a little, might start moving a little bit. Yeah, and they'll get a little more scent out of it now than they would have a couple hours ago. You can't catch them sitting in the truck. So I've never like got to try. Love them. You don't try, you don't catch them. Well, hopefully. Well, because I feel like you to know this. We have, and that's that why size. I wanted to try it. We have it. I mean, literally, we've covered the top, we've covered the bottom. Even though it's a two-day-old track, we know he didn't come out of that, you know, mile area. There's a lot of bush in there that he can just stay in there and hunt, right? So hopefully they can get it rolling.
Nick's like, that is a huge track. And he gets out and he looks at it, he's like, it's a couple days old. Carry on. And like every hunter, he's like, we can't let the track go fine. It's not going to work, but I got us. He sends the dog. These three dogs are kidding. They find this cat of a track. We jaunt in maybe eight, nine hundred yards. And uh, what a day to start. But cat and three. Like nothing I've ever experienced. Can't thank Nick. Unbelievable. Check it out. It's a nice tag. Alright, let's cut your tag and then let's we'll, cut that tag we'll and take get some off pictures. And we'll get some pictures of this guy. Accomplished, baby. Tom. Big Tom. Oh, dude. Claws. Nothing there. Like, just fur. Just a little bit. But actually, just claws. Like, literally, they would just. Like, you, you don't feel anything. It's like a cloud. Unbelievable. Well, Nick, get in here. This has uh, been quite experience. I've never cat on him before. Didn't know shit about it. And man, what I learned today was uh, you listen to your gut, as well. That's my number one rule for anybody who goes and guide at hunt. It's up Monday one that you shoot on the last day. You always listen to your guide. But this experience is not any other hunting experience I've ever had. And I can't thank you enough. Tell us a little bit about today. I mean, walk us through. I knew today was going to be tough. We hadn't had snow in what six, six, five or six days. It's this sugar snow, so every track looks fresh. Is the problem? Yeah. So it's, you know, how many trucks did we drive by today and check? And who knows? How many. And then this one is just we left. We left this. I mean, we left this track <laughs> literally. And then I was like, it, it's too big not to try it later. So I can, I can, here we are. And we literally, Nick, I know I said it before, he's seen this track, he's like, that's that's a good cat. He carried on and he just couldn't resist the urge. He's like, we gotta go back and try it. He let these three out and they worked wonders. I can't get over how amazing these dogs are. Like <laughs> They work good. It is unbelievable. We get here because of that. Yep, 100%. Anybody who's got an opportunity to get out and try a cat hunt, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. And if you're looking for a guy, I, we may know one. Hey, thanks, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's do thank that you. long thank hike you. out. And yes, thank you. Go get some dinner and do it again. Oh, Hell yeah. Come on, Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Come on Lace. Come on, Lace. Let's go, dog. Hey, sir. No problem. Why did you get to do much? One or two to get going. I mean, we left the track. Then I felt bad. It would have been a good run for them pups. Oh, well. Well, you didn't know what's going to Exactly. <laughs> Take them when you can. Yeah. Be lucky. I'd well, rather, rather be lucky than good, good any day. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll put them up in that wood box. That's so what you do it here. It's your cold yeah. nerve outfit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nick said today wasn't gonna be the greatest conditions. Now this is picture perfect, warm temperature, perfect amount of snow, but it hasn't snowed here in five, six days. You wanna get a skiff so you know what tracks are new. But this guy's got a streak, he's a legend. He's treated a cat every day this year, so we accepted that challenge and we treat a cat and we shot the cat. All because Nick at Chilcotton River Outfitters the is dogs. the man <laughs> and the dogs, of course. What a, what a show by those dogs. I mean, did you think that that was gonna unfold the way it did? No, I mean, I was hoping we'd get it up and running. Yeah. But I didn't realize they'd get her jumped up as, you know, tree within, you know, not too, too bad, really. Yeah. I feel bad I didn't let some young dogs over there. <laughs> good good run, dogs got some exercise. We got a heck of a hike in. I'm sweating. Me too. That's great. We got a cat on the first net. Look at this feast. They do it right out here. Chapon River Outfitters. Heck of a man. And cat, cat. Thank you very much. This is <laughs> this is next level. She's been working overtime. She's keeping these guys in line here. She's getting the meals ready. She's the backbone here. This is incredible. That's one crippled backbone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 Randy's just, out getting a raise. You just took it. Oh, it was Randy's raise. raise. Jordan, Jordan <laughs> threw up that bowl and you just spiked it right <laughs> up. Oh, man. I did thoroughly enjoy my lion in South Africa, so I feel like I'm going to like these. But... Oh, yeah. A little chewy. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh, incredible. 7.2 out of 10. Incredible. <laughs>